Hello, fellow YouTubers. This is Derek Duct Tape Man here. And first of all, I'd like to say thank you for going on my channel and watching my videos. In this video here, I'm going to show you something I made of duct tape. Relatively a new item I've shown you in the past. But I haven't really um, put it out there as much as any of the others. So, right here they are. Right here are leads. I made some of that duct tape. And you see these leaves are green. And eventually you'll see leaves many other colors. Like right here. Like the other leaves, they're made out of duct tape too. So here are all my leaves. Right here they are. As you can see, I've shown you some leaves. And I'll show you some here. A lot of whole bundle of leaves I have. So as you can see, these leaves are green. So here they are my leaves. But pretty soon it's gonna come a time where everyone says, a lot of people say it's the most beautiful time of the year. It looks very spectacular. And I agree, it does, in a lot of cases. So, since we're talking about leaves, and what can be so beautiful about it is um, when they change color. So, here. And that looks like a very excellent time, very beautiful. It looks pretty cool. A lot of these sceneries look very cool. Because all the leaves change different colors and it looks like a big painting. And a lot of times it does look amazing. But, um, and they also talk about how they peak. That means it's the best time to see it. Where it looks the best. When it changes colors. Even though it's beautiful, and even during the peak, when leaves change colors, those color, those leaves are dead. There's no life in them. When they're green, there's life in the leaves. But when they turn color, they die. The leaves are dead, and they fall off. Even though a lot of times people rake leaves, and they have fun jumping in them. Cool time, though. Very fun time. It looks pretty amazing sometimes, but even though it's beauty, it looks dead. It is dead because there's no life in it. That's the very interesting part about this is when everything looks the best, the most beautiful, that's when they're dead. That one becomes dead. They fall down and they get all crunched up. Eventually, that's what's going to happen. There's no beauty in that when, when at the end part. But the best time, even then, the leaves are dead. They appear to be beautiful. Appear to be lively, but they're dead. And I'm thinking, that's like a lot of people. They appear to be alive. They have life. But in reality, they're dead. And there's a First scripture I like to read over here. And right here it is. First John 5 12. He that has the Son has life. And he that has not the Son of God has not life. You know, according to that verse there, as it's saying, we all may be, a lot of people may be lively, feel life, but in reality, they're dead. They don't have life, so they're dead. 
So how to become alive? And that verse says you have to have the sun. And how do you have the sun? It's very easy. But first of all, you must understand this. That um, God created us. He created us so we can love him. He can love us. He created us so that we can be with him. He can be with us. But also, he created us so he can, he can love us and we can love him. And also, he created us to follow some rules. And we all broken those rules. We be lied, we stolen, we cheated. And that's called sin. We all have sin. It's because of our sin is why we're separated from God. And eventually, we have to die and go to a place called hell. And God does not want us to go to hell. He wants us with him. But we can't be with him because of our sin. And that's a problem with God. The only thing he can do is send his son, Jesus Christ, on earth to live without sin. He did none of that stuff I told you about. He did not sin at all. And right there, he um, allowed himself, allowed him to do something very special. Actually special for us and not so special for him. He died on the cross for us. He took the death that we deserved, the separation that we deserved, he took it upon himself. And then he died a horrible death, hanging on the cross. And that allowed us to be forgiven of our sins. And then, the good news, he did not stay dead. He has risen. And he's alive forevermore. And that's what our, secured our salvation. That he died on the cross, he lived without sin, died on the cross, and, and he rose again. That's our salvation right there. And we can't do anything, anything at all for our salvation. He did all the work necessary. So we don't have to do any works at all. So how to have this relationship with Christ to be alive. How do you have Christ, the Son of God? It's very easy. First, you must admit that you're a sinner, that you have sin, and because of your sin, you're going to hell, and there is not a thing you can do about it. Second, you must believe that Jesus Christ came to earth, died on the cross for us, and rose again for the forgiveness of our sins and for our salvation. The next thing you got to do is just ask them. That's all you got to do. If you've done that, congratulations. You're on your way to heaven. If you have more questions, my contact information will be in the description here so we can talk more about this. I'll be more than happy to talk about this. So I hope you like this message here. And you can think about what I said. So this is Derek Duct Tape Man saying thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, share, like, hit Get more videos of me. So this is Derek Duct Tape Man saying see you later. Goodbye.